Thailand's historical significance during World War II is often overshadowed by its modern-day image. The Death Railway, which we will be riding on today, weaves through small towns, jungles, and extreme passes. Wow, this is crazy. It is estimated that a quarter of a million people constructed the 688 bridges and the 415 kilometer railway. To this day, it stands as a powerful symbol of human endurance in the face of unimaginable adversity. Hello, doggy. Good morning! Good morning! <laughs> we are at Thornbury Station. Just got our tickets, met up with our friends Jade and Jason, and the tickets were 100 baht out to a station called Nam Tok, which is just outside of Kanchanaburi. So we're gonna head out to Nam Tok. We're gonna see everything that we have to see out there, and then we're going to come back a little bit back to Kanchanaburi, and then that will be the end of our train trip. So we're really looking forward to it. This is called the Death Railway because of its historical significance during World War II. So our friends also have a YouTube channel. So give them a like and a follow, watch their videos. Hey guys. Hey. <laughs> Jade and Jason. <laughs> All right, so there is a little market right next yeah. to the train station. So we're walking around now to pick up some snacks and get ready for this trip. It, the first train does leave at 7.45. As you can tell, it's very bright, early in the morning. Coffee. Ice for me. Hot cake. Thank you. So it's a little bit of a competition <laughs> because we all want to sit on the left side of the train. because That's where the views are going to be. So it's a little bit of a hostile environment trying to get the spots. It's like we're all getting up, lining up the race. <laughs> I had to run for the seat. <laughs> and you got it. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Between me and Jason, we'll make sure we get the good seats. <laughs> hey, we did it, we did it. So when we were doing research about this train, everyone's like, oh, it's not crowded at all. It's empty, it's empty. No one's on the train. But I think most people are obviously going on like, you know, a random day not on a long weekend how we have to travel. Yeah, because we have jobs. Because <laughs> we work here. So if you do go on a long weekend, it is going to be quite crowded and you're going to have to do a 40 yard dash to get a window seat. <laughs> maybe maybe like 20, 15 meters. And you're going to have some type grandmas that are going to push you out of the way. Yeah, they're going to the push you out the way. <laughs> Got me a little snack last night from the mall. Bomb kuchen maple. Bomb kuchen maple. Kuchen. Kuchen. It's, it's German. Um, and it tastes like a maple donut. It's so good. It's pretty good. This train is like, if you just take it one stop, it's like two baht, really cheap. And it makes it cheap so that these ladies, they get on with all their wear, like the stuff they want to sell, food and drinks. And they just bought, pay two baht to get on one stop, sell some stuff and get off again. Hard <laughs> 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 
<laughs> super <laughs> sweaty. Sorry, <laughs> we departed the, uh, from Bangkok on the train at 7.45 in the morning and it was 12.21 p.m. and we are finally at the Death Railway station. Waiting for it all day. Waiting for this all day long. <laughs> Sweating, hot hurts. <laughs> But all jokes aside, I wanted to mention the historical significance of this railway. We are able to see and experience this beautiful railway because of the people who have come before us. Wow, this is beautiful. The railway was built by approximately 180,000 civilians and 60,000 prisoners of war under the brutal occupation of the Japanese army. The Death Railway is etched with the stories of sacrifice, resilience, and tragedy. As the tracks wind through the picturesque landscapes of Southeast Asia, they also weave a narrative of suffering endured by thousands of Allied prisoners and local workers who faced unimaginable conditions, disease, and deprivation. The railway stands not only as a reminder of the past, but as a solemn tribute to the indomitable human spirit that can endure even the darkest of times. So we stopped at Tam Krasse station. So we didn't take the train all the way to Nam Tok because we saw this station. We thought, let's just hop off and so when you get off enjoy this little station, get some coffee. So if you do choose to get off at this station, Tam Krasse station, it's definitely super picturesque. I mean, it's right on the river. And there's also a little cave that you can go to. So I'm going there now. Oh, this, this cave is nice. It's nice and cool in here. Some people praying, and the cave goes back and back and back. Mm. Wow. So little spooky. There's no one back here with me right now. <laughs> oh, it's pretty cool. We chose to get off early because we wanted to get some coffee and relax for a little bit and that train is very, very hot. Um, but, but now we're actually waiting for the train to come back so we can hop on it to get back into Contemporary. I'm right here. 